So Robert Monroe was one of the first advocates for astral projection, Mm -hmm. right? And he was a radio show host from back, I want to say like the the mid to late eighties, maybe Mm -hmm. even before that. But one day he was in bed and he found himself outside of his body. And Mm -hmm. uh, as far as my recollection of the story, when he woke up, his chest was touching the ceiling Mm -hmm. and he didn't know what was going on. And so obviously well, that hop happened spontaneously, but it got the gears rolling on that type of research. And he wrote this book called Journeys Out of the Body, which is a pretty vivid account of what the dimensions are like. Mm-hmm. Dimensions meaning, you know, the ones outside of this third dimension that we're used to. Mm-hmm. And uh, he also developed, if anybody that's listening is into astral projection, you could actually research something called the rollover method. It's very simple. It's a pretty easy way to get into um, that state of astral projection. It's basically you kind of lie on your back and a certain point you kind of, you, you, you kind of roll over and then what rolls over is actually your spirit. (gasps) But the reason why I bring it up in our conversation is that the fourth dimension, which is the next one outside of the third Uh is the realm of thoughts and creativity. So if you have a thought that occurs in your mind or a memory, it's stored largely in this fourth dimension. I mean, it is in other dimensions as well, mm-hmm. um, such as like the Akashic records where, you know, the, the, the storehouse of memories that are compiled throughout, you know, existence in the universe are stored there. Mm-hmm. But the fourth dimension is filled with all different types of thought forms. So if you think of anything automatically in this realm, it manifests into a sort of like imprint of that idea. Mm -hmm. Right. So I hear, you know, during uh, astral projection experiences that people build, you know, whole communities, homes, universes and lives in this fourth dimension. And if you are good enough at astral projection, you could venture into these realms and, you know, visit all different types of beings, those extraterrestrial beings being one of them. Yeah. You know, you have to tread carefully in the fourth dimension because you get all different types of energy there. Right. It's that sort of intermediary realm between our 3D existence and what we would consider to be heaven yeah. or like the higher realms. Mm-hmm. So you have different types of uh, beings that live in the fourth dimension. You have discarnate beings, which are the ones that, you know, aren't yet ready to go to the light. Mm-hmm. You have extraterrestrials that are there and they may be just hanging out or they use that fourth dimension as a way to communicate um, to other beings on the third dimension. You have spirit guides that are there both trying to guide people on our planet, but also spirit guides that are there to try and reroute the people in the fourth dimension back home. Mm-hmm. And uh, you have even spirits there that have never taken on a body ever. Oh. Mm. So it's a completely different level of existence. And if anybody's interested in exploring the various dimensions that exist, I would definitely recommend reading Robert Monroe's Journeys Out of the Body and also um, Betty Eady's um, Embraced by the Light. I you like know, that. Yeah. Know, 